Okay, today's video is showing the magnetic travel, the electromagnetic field around a magnet. Now, uh, an earlier video showing my halo wave and pyramids um, shows the halo wave in the center. I've redrawn it and shown um, what the electromagnetic field does as it goes around a magnet because it must cross to the inertia line, cross itself, and then inflect from an impulsion V into an expulsion A. So it finally gives us, therefore, um, that shape on the right. Now I'm going to put up a few pictures which uh, correspond to um, what I've shown there, but uh, it's to explain that um, ferrofluid shows the magnetic Ouroboros energy halo wave, confirming impulsion and expulsion A, but it also explains ice magnets and pyramid power steps because I said if you look at the video in the top right hand corner we have a rushing in to the tree of life before it forms a swirl on top of the ferrofluid and as you can see I have drawn the magnetic field on top and bottom of the magnet so it comes in spins around goes to the inertia point crosses over and then inflects and changes the field now when you stack a load of these EM field rings one above the other you get that picture in the uh, center of the picture that pyramid and you get ring steps I've just drawn five there they're not to scale or, sh or shape the you know relative but it can be seen in the video above as it rushes in there is a pathway in as you get higher the pathway twists around the top as it rotates inwards but when they are compressed downwards by energy they line up from the center out to direct the magnetic field around the magnet because only electricity goes through the magnet that goes through the center which coming out as a flare um, also joining the flare um, backwards C shape that I've drawn there but it's confirmed in the video and that is why again um, pyramids had steps and the ring steps are how they are constructed energy force is so great right there that it forms a channel out and uh, there's many of these as you go around in a circle but it can be seen in ice and a few um, animation pictures from the net so i'm going to put those up and we'll have a look now uh, this is your typical uh, waveform which if you bend it in half will give us the magnetic picture that you see there. This is a waveform and we're only seeing it from the side. If we saw it from above, we would see a double helix spiral down to a really tight vortex crossover and then back into an Ouroboros torus wave. But these have been stretched rather than compressed. This is uh, ice in a frozen magnet and as you can see the top Ouroboros uh, field comes down, crosses itself and then underneath the magnet. Here's a little bit of a close-up, and you can see in the bottom left of the field there um, that one actually does cross underneath the other because there is an inertial line crossover point, and that's it. And then you've got your wormhole um, magnetic fields, which would be fine, but you can't travel through a, wormhole, through a wormhole because that's where the electricity goes. So you would have to take the magnetic field route, which is connected around the outside. Um, because yeah only electricity travels through the middle of a magnet until so finally we come back to the magnet which um, uh, we can see in the video playing of uh, Ken L Wheeler's Theoria Apophasis a fantastic video um, you can see the inlet point right there which goes into the tree of life then turns into a spiral but it's actually coming down the other way um, that spot in the middle where it's pulling in the ferrofluid is where energy is coming down and then going into the inertial crossover and then out to the other side so that is also a follow-up to why pyramids had steps going up the middle because everything is based on electrical and electromagnetic energy travel thanks very much my name is lee and i'll follow the christ jesus